Hello, hello, listeners. Guess what? It's Thursday and I am sitting in the chair and this is the Jess Address at IPL Studio. And it's just got a little dangerous in here because my very good friend, Greet, has joined me from Perth Baby and Children's Market. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Anytime. You know that you are always welcome wherever I am. I say it's dangerous because you and I often work together with Street Hustle events and we make events fun, don't we? We do. We definitely do. We cause a little bit of havoc along the way, but that's, you know, we brighten events. That's what I like to say. (laughs) But we are here to talk about the Perth Baby and Children's Market, which is coming up when? The first one, or the next one is coming up on the 31st of July in Rockingham and then we've got a little pop-up coming up in uh, Mandra on the 11th of September. Because it's got bigger, hasn't it? You've branched out. We have, yeah. The Rockingham is uh, like the biggest, the bigger market and the pop-up is like a little baby of yeah. the bigger market. Now, you've obviously, you've already got a lot of storeholders interested. How many? I think you were telling me and it's a an absurd amount of people that are coming. Yeah, I'm so excited because we've been working really, really hard to get um, lots of storeholders in for this market and we've got um, 58 booked in at the moment. 58? Yeah, plus um, eight pre-loved, which is what we love because um, we really want to try and make that section bigger um, just to encourage people to sell their old baby clothes or toys or anything that you know, is still, you know, valuable to others. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It's actually thinking about not putting things into waste and actually looking at it from a point of view of someone else will find this valuable and offering it there and there you get a chance to make some money. That's it and a chance to have a really good day with maybe a friend or a yeah. family member. and You could team up. You could actually get your friend who also has a baby of the same age or a child that's grown up, get your things together, get a market together and... That's yeah. it. And bring the kids because we've got kids' activities. Yeah. Um, we've got the amazing Jazzy Shazzies coming again. Jazzy Shazzies. I like the name. Yeah, they are awesome. And they do a toddler workshop. Yeah. Um, they're going to do another um, little mini workshop at the market at 10 o'clock. Um, it was super popular last time. There was about 30 kids and um, Having yeah, a ball. Everywhere, everyone loved it. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's three things that I love about this market. The upcycling, so things not going into waste and actually providing them to others. But you also – you provide a lot of opportunity for community groups like the Breastfeeding Association, Nagala and places like that to have stalls and provide that really valuable information to people. Yeah, definitely. And we've also got some really um, nice local daycare centres joining us this time. Yeah. So if you are looking, um, you're looking into it, but you just feel like you need to talk to someone then you can come to our market and get some information from those places and then the third thing I love is a lot of these businesses are local businesses that come to your event um, and are selling fantastic like homemade products aren't they yes most of the stalls are um, handmade um, and everyone is local yeah yeah, Th- that's just amazing, isn't it? Because the person that you're talking to might live down your street. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and it, that that's I think that's the beauty of this event, is um, it, for people to come down and just have a really good morning out and feel connected to the community. I think that's the main um, focus of this market. Talking about connection to the community. Um, Street Hassle and Perth Baby and Children's Market. There's a link there. There's a bridge between the two. Um, you also have like such a responsibility to the community and we actually the benefactors of the Perth Baby and Children's Market because everyone who walks in the door pays a gold coin donation and then you donate that onto a community group and that happens to be us. Yeah, so I'm time. really excited to have you guys on board. Yep. Um, so thank you for coming and... No, thank you. Like, Tris and I really appreciate the opportunity to be a part of it and also spread the IPL message, which is Inspired Passionate Lives. Um, Here, I try and build the bridge between the act, belong, commit, and, you know, before you act, you need the information, and we're providing information right now about the Perth Baby and Children's Market, which is on the 31st of July, isn't it? Yeah. But there's other exciting things happening in your life, isn't there, Great. (laughs) There is a few other (laughs) exciting things happening. Do you want to share? Because I feel like this is the place where we do (laughs) share information. Maybe um, there's a new business on the horizon? There sure is. So my husband and I have just launched 
launched a little business called um, Oyster of the Earth and we are going to be selling um, mushroom grow kits. Um, yeah, so it's all just started up and um, so in the coming months we'll be launching that and hopefully selling a few mushroom kits. And it's because you love mushrooms? It's because my husband loves mushrooms. Yeah. Um, so he's the sort of creator and um, he knows everything about mushrooms there is to know about mushrooms <laughs> and um, I'm sort of taking care of the social media and all the admin stuff well I like eating things. mushrooms oh they're delicious <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are yes and I'll my get you a box <laughs> yeah my partner also likes growing things so I think I may be your first customer yeah it, and it's a it's a great little it's a great concept because you take the box home and then um, you basically um, have to look after them a little bit. Um, you have to spray them with water um, about three times a day, more if you can, to initiate initiate the growing of the mushrooms. And then within a few days, weeks, you have your own mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a process also that the kids can be a part of really, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how many different types of mushrooms are there? Oh, uh, hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Um, we're only going to be um, selling um, oyster mushrooms. Yeah, which are so great to eat. Oh, yeah, yum. They are delicious. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully we'll branch out into some other, other mushroom, edible mushroom, mushrooms. Exciting things happening in your life. Perth yep. Baby and Children's Market happening really soon. How do they get in contact with you, Greet, so that they just say, I'm a small business, I want to get involved? Um, for the Perth baby market, yep. um, you can contact me through the Facebook page, um, through the message link, or you can email me um, through uh, Street Hassle, which my email is markets at streethassle.com.au, or you can always give us a call and we can have a chat. Do you know the phone number? Oh, I'll just <laughs> Neither do I. Lucky <laughs> that. <on> my head. <laughs> Let's Google that one. <laughs> Stay here because I've got a little game that I want us to play after this, but we're going to play a song because everyone likes music and I know you like this song. This is My Happiness by Powderfinger.